The disappearance of the Shika technology has been a mystery for so long now. How could machines as large as the Divine Beast just up and disappear? How could all 132 shrines across the land just vanish out of thin air? Well, according to Fujibayashi, they actually did. During an interview with The Telegraph, one of the directors of Tears of the Kingdom, Hidemuro Fujibayashi, revealed what happened to the Shika technology after the events of Breath of the Wild. Here is exactly what he said. Quote, They disappeared after the calamity was defeated, or sealed. All of the people of Hyrule also witnessed this, but there is no one who knows the mechanism or reason why they disappeared, and it is considered a mystery. It is believed that since Calamity Ganon disappeared, they also disappeared as their role has been fulfilled. To sum things up, after Link and Zelda sealed away Calamity Ganon in Breath of the Wild, the Sheikah Shrines, Towers, Guardians, and Divine Beasts just magically disappeared since there is no longer a need for them, and the people of Hyrule witnessed this event having no clue why all the Sheikah tech disappeared. This is honestly a great answer Fujibayashi gave us. If you think about it, the Sheikah monks disappeared when they gave Link a spirit orb, fulfilling their purpose. So after the Sheikah tech fulfilled their purpose, they vanished too. There are some things that are still confusing to me though. If all the Sheikah tech vanished, why do some still exist in Tears of the Kingdom? For example, the Skyview Towers in Porapad have Sheikah technology. And there's also a decayed guardian at the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab. So why is that? For the Guardian, it can't be that Decayed Ones didn't disappear because none of them are scattered near Fort Hateno, like in Breath of the Wild. How are the Hylians able to use Shika technology once again if all of it disappeared? I'm gonna be completely honest, these are super tough questions that I don't have an answer or even a guess to at this time. But I'm still glad that Fujibashi told us this and gave us this answer. One mystery answered leads straight to another according to the Zelda series, I suppose. But I'll put a link in the description below to the article I read about this, and if you want to see more Zelda videos like this or any Zelda related videos at all, like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on our next adventure.